Hi, my name is Anna Peterson, and today we're going to be making, we're going to decorate some phone cases with fluid art. Okay, so after you've gathered your materials, you're going to want to get a cup. I have limited supplies because I'm in college, and I do this right after my classes, and so I cut up a water bottle, but you're going to want to get a cup and a bunch of different paint colors, and just start pouring them into the cup. It's very unceremonious, you don't have, there's no rhyme or reason. Any color that you want, the more random that you put the colors in, the better it will look most likely. I just used all the colors because I didn't have a theme necessarily that I was going for. And then here you can see that I put the paint on the sides of the, on the inside of the cup and that could help create a cool design when you pour the paint out rather than just pouring it in from the top. And there's blue, okay. <laughs> This is the paint cup. Okay, and then you wanna use a base color. You don't have to use a base color, but I do just because sometimes the paint will separate to the point where the paint will show up from the bottom. And if you have a base color, then the base color can show up. And I used white just because it was the color I used the least. So if the paint separated and white showed up from the bottom, it would look kinda cool. You could use any color that you want, really. And then you take the paint cup that you had, put it upside down, and just pour it and maneuver it around how you want the paint. The way it looks in the beginning is not how it's going to look at the end because the paint has to drip and slide and move around. And then you just place it and start moving the case and maneuvering the paint how you want it. If you miss some spots, you can take the leftover paint from the cup and just place it on top. And you can also use this method to create very intricate designs if you think the case is, like right there, if you think the case is too bland. And then just keep moving the paint around. Make sure you get all of the parts of the case. You don't want to miss any parts, that would be sad. <laughs> <coughs> And then another method you could do to have more paint detail is blowing on the paint to really finely place the paint where you want it, which is what I'm doing right here. And there's my tongue. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay guys, so these are the finished products. Thanks for watching and Come back next time, who knows what I'll be doing. <laughs> You're gonna wanna give these phone cases a couple of days to dry, and then after that you can put on a clear coat or a varnish, and then you'll have your phone cases. Thanks for watching, guys.